Welcome to Localize. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Localize CLI, which will allow you to easily push source content to Localize and then pull the translations. We assume that you've signed up for a Localize account and that you have installed all prerequisites for using the Localize CLI. You can find instructions for this in the Localize CLI developer doc. Navigate to the API keys page in your Localize dashboard. If you don't already have one, add an API key. Name the key and select the projects where you'll be using the CLI. Select the Modify Phrases and Labels checkboxes in the Scope section. Then click Create API Key. While in the API Keys page, copy the project key for the project you are setting up. I'm setting up the CLI for my CLI test project, so I'll copy its key. Open up a terminal window and enter localize config. You'll be asked for your project key. Paste it in. Next, you'll be asked for your API token. Return to your dashboard and click the view link for your key. Copy the private key. In the terminal window, paste in the API token. Find and open the localize config YML file for editing. The project and token values are pre-filled for you. In the pull and push sections, for each language in your project, enter the language code and the path and the file names where your language files reside. Enter phrase or glossary for the type token. If you want to specify a file format that's different from the default file format, add a format token with the specific file format below the file token. Save your changes. First, we'll use the push command to upload a file with source language phrases. Enter localized push in the terminal window. A success or failure message will be displayed. Here we see a validation error message stating that the format must be specified. Open the config.yml file for editing again and specify the file format. Save the file. Enter localized push in the terminal window. Success! Return to the dashboard and select the Manage Phrases page. Here we see the phrases that were imported in the push. Since our project is set up to automatically generate machine translations, the translations are already available. Now let's test a pull of the target language translations. In the terminal window, enter Localize Pull. The success or failure message will be displayed. Open the exported file to see the translations that were exported. Once you have set up this process in your development environment, you can see how easy it will be to localize the content in your mobile app or files-based project. 